Hello and welcome to the Royal Academy of Dance here, South London. Happy World Ballet Day. My name is Chevelle Diner and I'm a dancer from English National Ballet. Today I'm going to take you on a little journey on what goes on here at the Royal Academy of Dance. The Royal Academy has a presence in over 80 countries and a teaching staff over 8,000. There are around 250,000 pupils that take the exam every year. They host a number of projects throughout the year and we're going to show you a few of them today. Today, I'm joined by Jennifer Hale, Chief Examiner at the Royal Academy of Dance. Good afternoon, Chevelle. Hello, Jennifer. What are we about to see today? Well, we're really fortunate today to have two of the medalists from the Gene competition that was held in Hong Kong in August. So Monet Hewitt, who is from New Zealand, and she was the female gold medalist. And she has just joined the English National Ballet School this year. Woo! And then uh, Basil James, who is from the United Kingdom, and he was the male silver medalist who has just joined the first year at the Royal Ballet Upper School. Woo! They are being coached by Petal Miller Ashmole, who is part of the esteemed faculty this year at the Gene, and accompanied by Martin Cleave, who is the uh, pianist and music manager at the RAD. Well, the Gene brings back many memories for me. I participated in 2004 and actually won the bronze medal. So we've actually got three of the medals in the building right now. The full set, yeah. It really is. I had a great time. When I did it, we did it in Athens at the Herod Atticus. And it was the first time I danced in front of 5,000 people. So uh, it's a very special time for me to remember. Shall we uh, have a watch? And yes, see what let, these let's have a do? look. Yes, great. Yeah, go. Yes. OK. Shall we have some music at that moment? So from the walk around to coming forward, please. There have been many medalists that many people might see during World Ballet Day yeah. that have won medals from the Genie, uh, including Stephen McRae from the Royal Ballet, Lauren Cuthbertson from the Royal Ballet, Joseph Curley from English National Ballet, On Your Leg, Alexander Parrish from Variansky Ballet, Alexander Campbell from the Royal Take your time. Francesca Hayward from the Royal Ballet, and many others that I can't name. <laughs> Flee up, stay, good. All right, let's stop for a minute. Stop. Just uh, mind your run around. Uh, you need to work through your feet a little more. <laughs> uh, Probably bigger steps, not so what, does what does the Gene entail? Well, the, the uh, Gene is the RAD's flagship event, and it was first held in London in uh, 1931. Now it's developed into a, a 10 day event that's held in a different location each year. It's open to students between the ages of 15 to 19 who have passed their RED Advance to examination with distinction. Uh, it gives them the unique opportunity to work with renowned teachers and choreographers over five days of coaching, which is then followed by a two-day semi-final and then a final where they compete for the range of medals on offer. Now, I understand that uh, Monet completed her RAD exams whilst a student at the Philippa Campbell School of Ballet in New Zealand and that is where she was also coached for the Gene. And Basil James completed his RAD exams up to Solo Seal and was coached for the Gene whilst a student at Tring Park School for the Performing Arts. Mm -hmm. That was very, very nice from Basil. Mm -hmm. So Monet here is doing um, a variation from Remonda, Act 2. Variation 2, and you'll see that Basil was practicing Prince Siegfried's variation from Act 3 of Swan Lake. Yes. Good. Hold. Turn the legs out on the balance. Say good. Over, over. And on your leg. Through. Yes. Mm hmm. And they're good. Okay, good. Uh, keep your kuru nice and tight here. 
So what variation did you do, Chevelle, when you did the Genet? I actually did the same variation as Basil was doing, Siegfried from Act 3, Swan Lake. Very good. So it's bringing back memories. It's bringing back <laughs> loads of memories. I'm also hearing it quite a bit because the company is going to be doing it very soon too. More bend. Yes. And now go... Yes. Exactly. Exactly. Just show the pirouette into arabesque once. Be careful here how you take the preparation. It's a turned out supported leg. Okay, off you go. Yeah. Make sure you put that heel down and stay secure. Nice. Okay, good. All right. Okay. Um, would you like to do that step with music, I think, would be good. Yeah. Uh, so we'll do from the just the beginning step, please. Squeeze, squeeze, oh, gently, gently. And hold. Tight cool. And the développé, make sure that you do the coupé and the, both legs are turned out in that position. Yes, and, and the arms need to come through first position. Yes. And stay. Yeah, good, good. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Um, that's good. All of it is coming really well. Hello, we've got Basil here. Hello, nice to meet you. <laughs> I actually remembered Basil for when he worked with us with English National Ballet and he was my child, I think. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, he was my child. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, first of all, I want to congratulate you on receiving the silver medal in the Genet. Thank That's you very much. absolutely amazing. Thank you. Uh, could you tell me what the scheduling was like? Yeah, of course. So. Um, every week I do just over 20 hours of dance and conditioning. So there's various amounts of ballet mainly, as well as contemporary um, Pilates and strength and conditioning, which is um, really prioritized. This is really important for strengthening a dancer's career, really. <laughs> uh, no, ex extremely. I mean, it started when I was there, so I'm sure it's got a lot better now. Yeah. Um, can you tell us about the experience in Hong Kong and what it was like to work with dancers from all over the world? Yes, of course. It was, it was an amazing experience, to say the least. Being out in Hong Kong in a different environment, surrounded by such talented people, was really once in a lifetime, I suppose. It sure is. <laughs> yeah, the, Hong Kong's an amazing place and the whole atmosphere and everything I learned through the Gene competition with all the teachers and friends that I made, I think was really develops me as a person as well as a dancer. I'm sure it will. Well, Basil, I know we're going to be seeing you a little bit later on course, uh, yeah. with your solo, so stay tuned, all you people out there watching. Awesome, I'll see you later. Thank you, see you later. Right. Uh, now we're going to be talking about uh, the RAD's discovering repertoire. And I have back Jennifer Hale. Here I am, yes. Um, the Discovering Repertoire program is one of the newest additions to the RAD examination uh, framework. And it was launched this year in January, and it was created by former RAD artistic directors Lynn Wallace and Paula Hunt. It's a, an innovative and, and new assessment and training program, and one of the main aims is to make the learning of repertoire accessible to a broad range of, of dance students. 
At the moment there are three levels and at each level there are three units. One unit which is a very simple class and then two variation units. Um, the ballets that are covered are Capelia, Giselle, Sleeping Beauty, Paquita, Swan Lake and the Nutcracker. Oh, I know the Nutcracker very well. Now we have some students today that are going to show uh, some level of some work from level two, which is specifically focusing on the Capelia variations. Nice. So well, we look forward yeah. to uh, seeing them. I'm going to let you go ahead okay, while I sit you. down and watch. Okay. Now, girls, if you could put the fans away and gentlemen rest at the side for a moment. Now, when you're ready, coming into the center and now placing yourselves for development exercise A, which is transfer of weight. Thank you, Martin. <laughs> Hold it here, coordinate your ending. Thank you. Move a little bit back into the center. From fifth position with the left leg devant, just taking from the introduction and, and thinking about a few things to work on, your eyes are going to collect your hands into brava and then really present the foot as you pose a forward into classical pose and transfer the weight so you're right over your supporting leg here. Now on this first développé, you're showing off the foot, but also thinking about coordinating the développé and the fondue. So just show me that, that action there. It's got to keep going. Now project forward, push onto the support leg, transfer the weight fully, and just make sure the shoulders are relaxed and turn your body a little bit more to me. Now on this part de bourree, you need to move a lot more. So part de bourree, step out and into the transfer of weight. Epaulement, transfer the weight right over, hold on, back onto that side, right over the support leg, and now back on the other side into the pot de and travel this pot de bourree, that step coming across, that's it. And then you're going into the fondue again. Okay, thank you ladies, relax. Rest at the side. And now the gentlemen come into the center. Yes, yes we do, the men. And they're going to show uh, development exercise B for the male, which is uh, fondue and, uh, sorry, kneel and développé. Now, a really strong beginning, like we talked about. Thank you, Martin. Just think about the wrist on the waist. Thank you, Martin. We'll just rest there. So we've just shown half. Now come back into the center. When you take that chassis at the beginning, use the demi-plié and, and think of the weight coming forward and quickly over the, the support leg. Push forward through space and épaule So really turn from the back. Now as you go into that first kneel, you're thinking of counter pull and épaule A big strong spring. Off you go. Spring forward. Now on the développé, with resistance out and into the développé hold and pull away. Turn the body a bit more, Jacob. And Luke, that's it. What, uh, relax the wrist. Good, and relax. That's quite a hard one to hold. Okay. Now, I know you really wanted to show the next one, so we'll, we'll, I think we have time. So fifth position, just give the legs a shake for a minute. And we'll move on to development exercise C, which is relevé and, and développé. Okay, ready? Thank you. <laughs> Try and travel the pas de bourre. Move, that's it, look good. Thank you, Martin, good, and we'll relax there. Just take that last chasse forward and make sure the arms are sat in the back. So, you're, yes, that's it. Keep the wrist up and hold it. Are you right over your support leg? Bring your heel a little bit round to me, uh, supporting heel. 
So that's the idea. Okay, and relax. Rest at the side, please, men. And now the girls are going to show the full uh, variation from Capelia, which is the Spanish dance. They've been working on it, so come into the center. And just to space ever so slightly, uh, take a small step back, all of you, just so you have plenty of room when we get to the end. Good, now try and get the atmosphere, lots of energy. Yes, thank you. into classical pose. That's it. Now, just rest there for a minute, take a few steps back. The development exercise that we started at the beginning was working on the transfer of weight. And just to show the audience how that step comes into the variation. So starting from um, the chenet, take it from the chenet part there. And that's it, ladies, and chenet. And then here's the first transfer of weight, stepping out. That's it, there, and then relax. Just keep the upper body and the chest relaxed, and then release. And then the next as you can see, the discovering repertoire is open to all students of all ages and encourage people and young children to get on and do the dancing. We're now going to show you a little bit of the Silver Swans, which is another initiative that the RAD shows and helps for older people. We have Sarah and she's going to tell us what Silver Swans is all about. Silver Swans is an initiative aimed at the older learner, um, aimed at the over 55s, but all are welcome. What we're about to see here is a group of our headquarters Silver Swans. Some of them have been coming since the beginning, which has been about four years. Others have only been coming since the summer. The ladies are ranging from 60s, 70s and into their 80s. Oh wow. And they're taking a plie exercise, which is the first movement in most ballet classes. Um, I find the silver swans are very good at the bar, but now we're in the centre. So we've got the added challenge of balance. And Helen's looking for dance quality with the coordination of the arms, eyes and breathing as well. So this is Helen Linkenbau, she's one of our licensed Silver Swans teachers. She's now going to lead them through an adage, which is slower movements, and again it's the, the challenge of the control and the balance, which is often more challenging for the older learner. We're also working in partners because research has shown that one of the problems of ageing is loneliness, so we try and do lots of connection and communication as we go. That's lovely. Should we actually sit down and watch? Yes. Shall we go straight in with the music? Let's give it a try. Thank you, Martin. Ready. Standing beautifully tall. Now breathing. Your left arm is forward. Eyes connect with your partner. So what makes these classes so special? They're based on a lot of research. Um, it started with the RAD's Dance for Lifelong Wellbeing project examining the benefits of dancing for the ageing process and it showed absolutely fantastic results. Um, physically, the strength, the improvement in balance, mobility. One of the big problems with ageing is falls um, and here improving your posture and your balance really helps to prevent 
issues that come that might create falling in, in later life. Um, it's also the emotional benefits. So as you can see, it's all the feeling of classical ballet, all the joy, all the love, but within everybody's capabilities. You might well see people doing different variations. Some people might keep two feet on the floor. Some people might stretch the back leg. Some might even do a lift. So everybody's able to work within the, uh, the capabilities of their own body. Can anyone take part in the Silver Swans? Absolutely. Um, it's aimed at the over 55s, but uh, we've had younger people and much, much older people. Some of them have danced before, some of them haven't but the main important thing is that you come and have a lovely time. So we're going to practice that little turn setting that we'd started working on. If you could all please find a place and face the front. Perhaps we should stand in some uh, lines. We are actually rolling out the Silver Swan teacher training program all over the world. We've already had training in America, USA and Australia and here in the UK. Um, and many more teacher training programs are taking place, so hopefully Silver Swan classes will be appearing everywhere. We hope so. Now, um, do you remember, ladies, so the, arm, the front arm is in first position, right across from your waist here, practicing your spotting, so your eyes are forward, your back arm, keeping your chest nice and open here. If you can, you're going to open your back arm behind you. Now, keeping your eyes focused forward to spot, taking small steps, turning around yourself, bring your eyes back to the front as soon as you can. Then you're going to take, uh, first of all, it's your left foot, so it's the opposite foot to the hand. So quickly out to the side there. Use your demi point for a bit of support and a little soft fondue if you can. Lovely. Then we're going to change the arms with a nice uh, Spanish sweep eyes to the front. Then we're going to repeat turning to the left, little steps around. And two, three, and four. Foot and hands and. Yes, remember keep the feet quite small and underneath you. Just practice for me. Feet underneath you so that you feel nice and stable. Focus very clearly on keeping your eyes forward. And um, do you think it'd be better if I faced you this way or do you want me to do it the same way as you? What do you prefer? Same way, fine. I'll do it the same way here, facing the front, facing the audience. A uh, little introduction, please, of four in. Thank you, Martin. We'll prepare our arms on the introduction. Thank you. Prepare and round, keeping your eyes focused forward. And foot, then your arms ready. Turn, eyes forwards. And foot. Arms. Let's try again and turn, eyes to the front and your foot and your arms and turn, eyes to the front and your foot and your arms. Thank you and finish. Thank you ladies. Beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that was absolutely amazing by you lovely young women. <laughs> Can I speak to a couple of you? To come forward. So, how do you feel after that? Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Refreshed. Refreshed? <laughs> yes, it's great. A little bit nervous, but otherwise it was fantastic. Well, you guys did a very, very, very good job. What inspired you to start dancing? Different music. Mm -hmm. Yes, I've been dancing in my head since I was very little, but I took up classes um, a few years ago on my 60th birthday. I decided it was time to do what I really wanted to do, and I just love the ballet. I think it's a beautiful art form, and I've been following it and watching it for years. Oh, nice. And what, uh, what age did you start dancing? You said that you danced before. Oh, yes, I've done all different, been to different classes. I've done them. Um, ballroom, Spanish, and I started uh, in my 20s, I think, I used to go to evening classes. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, sorry, how many classes did you say you do a week? Three. Three, and yes. three. you do three as well. That is absolutely amazing, and you enjoy every time? Fabulous, yes. You always feel good coming out of a ballet class. We sure do. Mm. 
There are over 300 SWAN licensees delivering classes in selective countries around the world, including the UK, the USA, Australia and Hong Kong. For more information, go to the royalacademyofdance.org forward slash silver swans. Thank you, ladies. As you can see, Basil's back and he's getting ready to show us his variation from the Adeline Jeanne 2018. Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, why don't we walk through the, uh, the jeté step from the corner mm -hmm. just to start with to get the feel of the arms. Let's have a look at that. Continue. Okay, good. Make sure you hit that position in the air. Feel where it is. Good. And I think this arm needs to be a bit lower. Yeah, that would be it. Yeah. And the first developer, just move back a bit to show me your first preparation. Make something of it. Yes, you, as you do it, you need to show me speak to your audience watch me now watch me now there there we go good yes that's about involving yeah. all of the audience with you it's the hello i'm here <laughs> moment yes show me once more and watch that side arm in a beautiful but show me now yep good yes good now take the preparation here steady on your leg Okay, let's try that again. Yeah. Okay, easy does it. Knee back. Okay, and up to fifth. There's arabesque. Yeah, if you can actually establish that arabesque, at the moment it, it gets there, but it comes down too soon. Just give me one second. Hold. Okay, and the head. It's when you've gone as far as you can go and you go that half inch further. I'm on my leg, and no, nah, we were falling through then. No. <laughs> <laughs> no falling through. We're on our leg. On my leg, and, okay, we can work on that. And a nice breath there, no hurry here. Okay, Prince doesn't hurry. No. <laughs> <laughs> he owns the world. Good, okay. Would you like to do it from there? Yes, please. Okay. Oh, just before we do, um, just show me the position you, when you've walked around. Legs, uh, yes. It, 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 it was almost a bit, it's too casual. Sure. <laughs> yes, intention now. Watch me again. And here I go. And, uh, yeah. Lovely April mom with the shoulders at this moment. Yes. Yeah, good. Okay, let, let's go from the corner. Thank you, Martin. We're going from the corner into the pirouette last section. That was worth that medal. <laughs> very good. Good, darling. And the April moment. Very well. Very well done to Basil just there. Sadly, that's all we have time for at the Royal Academy of Dance. If you're inspired to go and dance, 
Visit royalacademyofdance.org to find out how to get involved. The Genet in 2019 will be held in Canada, Toronto. So for more information, go to royalacademyofdance.org. Keep watching World Ballet Day on Facebook and keep using the hashtag World Ballet Day. Thank you very much. See you soon.